Greg Johnson first discovered his passion for music when he was growing up in Auckland and by the age of 18 he had his first big break. I was in orchestras and you know all the usual stuff that New Zealand kids do. We were playing the recorder by about four or five and the piano, same age. So yeah I think um, there's a lot to be said for the schools you know putting making music kind of um, one of the core subjects. I think it's I think it's good for kids, you know, to do music. So I was one of the uh, results of that. Over a 16-year career, Greg has produced eight albums, and says he never wakes up wanting to do anything else. It's one of those professions that's sort of never the same every, every, any day. So the travelling I enjoy. I don't do as much as I used to. Um, I don't I haven't really toured the U.S. much in the last couple of years. Um, I tend to come back here twice a year and do the odd jaunt here and there elsewhere, but um, yeah, it's fun, it's great fun. I mean, if you, if you love music, you, um, you love music and it's kind of in there really. Throughout his career, he's enjoyed a lot of success, including several TUI awards, a platinum album, and the coveted Silver Scroll Songwriters Award. But it's the performing that he truly loves. There's been so many good times. Um, you know, playing in Boston, um, to a quite large crowd there uh, several times was, was great. Getting all that radio was, was, was a, a bit of a high. Um, playing with the orchestra in Auckland a few years ago was pretty cool. Um, just generally being able to do what I do, you know, I, I'm very grateful that I have a, a solid audience here in New Zealand, you know, and um, try and deliver some good albums and good, good live shows. I really enjoy the live shows too. No, a lot. In 2002, Greg made the big move to Los Angeles and attempted to break into the United States music scene. I had a crack at touring there a lot and I got a lot of radio about three years ago with uh, a couple of tracks off of Caviar, um, Save Yourself particularly. It was a kind of minor hit there I guess. Um, but now I'm more interested in really doing the songwriting, the co-writing with people. Um, it's very difficult to, to break the US and it takes an awful lot of money and really a lot of traveling um, and, and constant touring, which I'm kind of, I feel like I'm a bit old for that now. I don't know if I'd like to be away from the missus for that much of the year, you know. Even though he's been living in the States for almost eight years now, he still calls New Zealand home. I get back twice a year at least, so I don't really get a chance to miss it. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll always be a Kiwi, you can't, you know, no matter where you go, you are. But um, I do love living in, uh, in, a, in a big city, actually, more than anything. I, I like. Uh, I like the energy of Los Angeles in the sense that um, it's a great place for a songwriter as well. You know, it's where the sort of songwriting industry is probably at its, uh, what's the word? Well, it's, the, it's probably the, the centre for songwriting other than perhaps Nashville and London. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a good place. Best of both worlds for me, you know, I get to come home as well. He recently released a Greatest Hits album and is currently working on a new album as well. I'm always working on an album, yeah. Um, this one, I haven't actually started recording for it yet. I've still got a lot of writing to do, actually. Not quite sure what form the new next record will take, but that's part of the fun, sort of figuring it out. I might do something different, might go do it live somewhere or something like that. As for the future, Greg doesn't see any drastic changes and he's happy just doing what he loves. I am going to go and start thinking about another record. Now, I've got a lot of writing, a lot of co-writes underway at the moment with various people. Um, pitching songs for movies and TV, the usual things that I do. Um, yeah, so just carry on as really.